preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Welcome to Weekdays with Jesus and John. We began just a couple of days ago looking at the Gospel of John, looking at his journey and his lessons as he looks back from the vantage of older age, looking back on his time with Jesus. We pick up today in John chapter 1 and verse 35. John 1 and verse 35. The next day, John, as in the Baptist, was standing with two of his disciples. And he looked as Jesus, at Jesus as he walked by and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What are you seeking? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they came, and they saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. And one of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. And he brought him to Jesus, and Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which is Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him of whom the uh, of whom Moses and the law and the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. But there are a number of lessons in, in, in this section, a number of things that we could point out. I, I want us to look, though, at two words. Come see. Really, that's what Jesus is saying to these early disciples. Do you want to know who I am? Do, do you want to know what I'm about? Do you, do you want to know what it is that I'm teaching? Then come and you will see. Come and see. Come follow me. Follow in my footsteps. Follow my way of life. Follow my teachings. Follow my example. Really, that's what discipleship is. It's learning from a master, a rabbi, a teacher. It's learning from that one person and dedicating yourself to what they are doing and what they are saying, what they are teaching. Their instruction and their way of life. It's learning to imitate them, to do what they do, to say what they say, to teach what they teach, to put what they teach into, into practice. It's OJT. It's on the job training. Discipleship is, is not a Sunday morning thing. It's not really a get up in the morning thing. Discipleship is a all day and all day all your life. This is who I'm giving and dedicating and disciplining my life toward. But it's one step, one day, one lesson, one life at a time. Discipleship. The reason I wanted to look at the John's account of the gospel with these weekday lessons now. It's, we spent time in the Psalms and the, uh, through the most of this pandemic so far because I felt like the Psalms would help us focus on God and, and remind us that God is worthy of our praise and that God cares. But as we turn to the gospel accounts of Jesus' life, 
What we find is Jesus is God in the flesh. That logos, that word of God, that light of God, that, that word that became flesh and dwelt among us. And that now our focus and our life should be towards him and learning from him and becoming more and more like him so that we can become more and more like God. It's a matter of discipleship. That's what weekdays with Jesus and John is really about. You and me learning from the master. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, help us. Help us to come to you. Help us to come to Jesus and help us to see. Help us to see who he is. Help us to see what he's about. Help us to see his lessons. And help us to see you through him. And help us to ultimately come to you and live with you eternally through him. Father, thank you for the sacrifice that he made in coming here and dying for our sin. And Father, we thank you for that and we praise you for that. We thank you for your care and for your comfort and for your love. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Weekdays with Jesus and John. I'm looking forward to these. I'm looking forward to spending some time again with you the next time. But until then, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts.